Hello, hello, ladies and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome to a little bit of a tutorial. And today, I was actually thinking I would show you how to set up a Minecraft 1.12.2 bucket server. Okay, so first off, you're gonna go to this site. Uh, I'm gonna link it in the description, and here you will, uh, well, it's going to tell you to make sure you have the latest Java and how to do it on Linux. But I'm guessing that pretty much all of you are going to run Windows, or most of you. If you're running on a Linux distribution, good for you. <laughs> okay, so after that. We are going to download the build tool. And that you do by clicking this link here. Uh, I already have it downloaded, so I have it right here. That's my building tool. And this is where I will have the server. So I'm going to put the building tool in there. Okay. So. Now what we want is a CMD, uh, excuse me for having a Swedish <laughs> language. Okay, so now then uh, we do run it as administrator because that will make it easier for us to get to where we want to. And now then we're going to do CD dot dot until we get to the C drive and here we're going to go to CD users I believe it is okay it is um, and then I believe I had kicker and in there I want to go to desktop and then bucket underscore server. You might call it something else. Okay, there we go. And um, then you're going to run a command. I'm just going to copy it over here. I'm going to put this in the description as well. This is the command, java, and then jar, build tool dot jar. So, then this is going to open up the build tool. You see, I, I'm getting some stuff in here. It's going to open up this and it's going to download the files that we need to create our server. Uh, this usually takes quite some time. So I am going to pause the video here and then I will come back when uh, it's done. Okay, there we go. Now it has finished. So I can pretty much just close this. And now I need a new uh, CMD. No, I don't. My bad. Uh, now we're going to open Notepad. And as I said before, sorry, I have the Swedish language installed, not the English one. So, what I'm going to do here is I am going to write in a little bit of a code. And you don't need to follow this one. Um, or you do have to follow this one, but um, here you can do some difference. So this is the code that I'm going to use. Uh, it tells it to run uh, Java, and then this tells it how many gigabytes of RAM 
the server should use. And then it says to do jar and now let's see here. It says craft bucket and then it is 1.12.2, not 3. Uh, damn fingers. Okay, so um, as you see this file, just write exact same name here as the name of that file. Very important. And now I am going to save as, again, sorry, uh, all files and inside the bucket server and just run the bat. You can name it whatever you want, but uh, this is a kind of typical one. This is going to be the one that start your server. So now we just gonna click on it and it is going to start up the server. Let's see. Starting Minecraft server 1.12.2. And now tap any key to continue. And then we get a text file in here that says Ula. Open up this one. And here it says even. By changing the settings below to true, you are indicating your agreement to the Ula. And if you want to read the agreement, I guess it isn't here. It's pretty much that you agree on the terms that Minecraft uh, or Mojang has to a Minecraft server. So, uh, we are just gonna... Let's remove that. Um, type in true. Damn, I, I can't even spell today. That's kind of annoying right now. Um, okay, true, and then just save. And then we run our server again. And now it's preparing the world, preparing spawn areas. And it also does its own little seed thing. Okay, now it's done. Uh, you can change the world here later on if you want. Uh, you are going to get a server.properties. And if I open this with notepad, or in my case, notepad++, you see, I get all kinds of settings here, uh, like the OP settings, Hello Nether. Yeah, I think most of you have seen these ones before. And here you can put in the seed if you want a specific seed for your world. And after you've done that, of course your server isn't gonna be on when you do this. You just remove the world folders, and then just click the run and it will create that new world for you. And the server IP, uh, if you're going to just play locally, uh, like having a LAN with a few buddies in the same house, so you don't need to do anything about that pretty much. Or you can just put in your IP uh, I guess pretty much everyone knows how to get that, right? Uh, if you want to do it locally, you can just go IP config. And then you see here your IP v4 address. That is your local network address or local LAN. That makes sure that people in the same house can connect to you. Otherwise, you can use things like Hamachi, or I think there is a bunch of different different ones. But yeah, um, if I start up my Minecraft now, uh, 
I'm just gonna put that outside so you don't need to see that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. And the first time the server is going to crash, it seems like my Minecraft didn't feel like doing any work today either. Okay, maybe. There we go. Okay, so going to multiplayer, uh, direct connect, local host, join server. There we go. I am on my own little local server. Uh, don't know. It might be that it doesn't like me recording this way. Because it gets a bit choppy. And it doesn't seem like it did crash this time, but I know that it did when I tested it out the first time. Okay. Uh, Minecraft seems to be a bit stupid now. So, as you can see here, uh, Lord Kicker lost connection, disconnected, left the game, and you can also see that I connected, and uh, you also see the IP address, which is uh, 127.0.0.1, which is the local host. So, yeah, and also, um, if you need to take down your server for maintenance or something like that, just write in stop. And it will turn off your server. And that is pretty much all of it. So, I hope you found this uh, tutorial. Or, wait, there is one more thing. Plugins. We should talk about this. Because it is kind of important. Uh, of course, since you're building a bucket server, you want to put in plugins. These can be found on the bucket plugins page. And I mean, there are like a ton of them. And you can look for all kinds of different ones like... Well, admin tools, anti-griefing, chat-related, developer, economy... Yeah, you name it. Even role-playing, that, that could be fun. Someone set up a role-playing server. <laughs> okay, so uh, I did take down one. Uh, that is this one, Massive Core. Uh, I think it is on here too. And I think I found it under anti-griefing. Oh well, uh, it, it is under one of these. Uh, it, it's going to be the same no matter which one you take down. You can just click download. And it will take you to a download page. And there it starts downloading it. Uh, So anyways, uh, I did take down then this one, Massive Core, and what you do is you turn off your server, open up the plugins, and put it in there. Then you start up your server, and look at that, Massive Core, Enable Start. 
So now it is really in the plugin that you put in there. And putting the information into your server so that you can use it. Pretty neat, eh? <laughs> so you see, it created some folders and stuff. And that is pretty much how simple it is. Uh, you might have to restart the server before this is activated fully. But, I mean, it's just, as I showed you before, typing stop. And then do the run. And then it's just gonna load in all the things. And uh, now that should work inside of your server. Let's see if I can test it out here. Or if it will be lagalicious like before. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like it really likes me recording the desktop while I'm doing this. So, uh, going into multiplayer, direct connection, join server, localhost. There we go, logging in. Oh, it seems to take some time today. Okay, so if I do slash help, what do I get up? Okay, so sla slash logins. And then it says that I have massive core installed. Pretty neat. So, as you see, it did work. So, I hope you have tons of fun with this. And, uh, I would like to see some people actually trying to do their own servers. Uh, I gotta tell you, I haven't done a server like this since beta 1.8. That was a freaking long time ago. I believe it was back in... 2010, maybe? Something like that? So, yeah. Uh, anyways, this is how you create your own bucket server. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna do more of these, but if you like them, I could do. Um, so, yeah. Let me know down in the comments and yeah. <laughs> bye bye.